everybody we are back today on melton industries and we are going to be doing a little bit of a different video today uh it's going to revolve around farm sim okay um yeah i know we got some uh lspdfr pulled up but we're not going to be doing that today we are going to be doing a uh information video on how to install mods for uh, farm sim okay now one site I use mainly is this site right here okay now this is a <clears throat> this is just a regular fs19mods.com okay this is the map I just installed and I'm going to show you <clears throat> how to do this really quick okay so once you do this, you have to be careful what you select here because if you click on ads, it's going to send you away. So if you click on this one, it says download the mod, okay? It's going to bring you to another page. You have to find the one where it's not talking about um, ads, okay? So I look right here, step one, it says download right here. So you have to confirm the free download method. Now, I was having issues where if I would click here, it would send me to this other page, and then I would click this, and another thing would pop up. Let's see if it does it. Yes, it does. Okay. This is just sending you to another ad page. If it does that, that's fine. Uh, double click, or just click here, and it's going to re-download it. Now, I'm not going to do that because I have it right here. Now, let me show you once you get it downloaded. You take it to your desktop, okay, and then it's going to uh, move it to the desktop, okay. So we'll let it do that really quick. This thing's like, I don't know, like two gigabytes in size, probably bigger, I'm not sure. All right, but anyway, whenever you get it, um, if you look at it, it says unzip, okay. Basically what that means is it has mods inside of a mod. So you want to take all of this, let's see if we can uh, control A here, and control, control, and then you want to take all of these, and you want to drop them on your desktop, okay? You can do that right here, but I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So let's see if I have them, I don't. They're already in my mods folder. All right, let me go ahead and show you how to do this really quick. So let's just pretend that we're at this PC. Okay, this thing here is about full. This one's getting there. Got my Hero 4. Okay, off topic, but okay, here we go. So you got all of this stuff right here. Now, you don't have to move this to your desktop, okay? You can go to your uh, to your mods folder inside Farming Simulator 19 or whatever mod or whatever uh, game you have. This works for FS17 as well. So just go to Documents, go to uh, My Games, and you can choose whichever one you want. Now I'll show you that it works for FS17 uh, as well. Here is all the mods that I had for FS17. And then you can go back to FS19 and go to the mods folder here. And you can just install it right here. Okay. And basically, what we're going to be looking for is FS19 Clover Creek. And just to show you that it's already here. So it's going to be in C. So clover creek right here all right clover creek and then if we go to the s's we'll see this uh strelogger whatever that is i'm not sure if that's how you say it or not um r s t here it is all right strelogger i actually installed it twice i didn't mean to but i did so I'm just going to leave it as is. But like I say, guys, this is how you do it. You just take it, you drag it, and you don't want to copy anything. You know, so you just put it right here. 
if you got it over a highlighted area it's going to replace that okay so you want to put it over here in the white section and then just drop it on in i'm not going to do that because i already have it and that's basically how you install mods to uh fs 17 19 and so on and so forth very simple to do we're just going to delete this and let's empty the recycle bin yes go ahead and delete all of that out of there and that should clear up my computer a little bit okay that is how you do mods for fs 17 19 now you can uh you can use any site you want to also expandables mod and you can go to their website and uh, you can look at uh, some of his posts that he does uh, if you go announcements he's going to show you like right here you can go to open link in a new tab and it's going to just pretty much give you a tutorial or you know you can go back to here and you can say okay fs17 mods what do you have you open link in a new tab and it's going to have all the mods and there are links to be able to get them right there with the photo now keep in mind this is for fs17 this is not fs19 okay don't download this stuff and throw it in fs19 expect it to work because it's not going to it's not made for it so that's how you get mods off facebook and stuff like that so if they come up and say well it's through expendable well you got to look him look them up and then you got to uh you got to join them they got to approve it and all that stuff so you can get mods that way um we go back to announcements here and let's see I don't see okay here we go he has FS 19 mods you can go to the comments and you can hit view all and it's gonna bring them up now look here he's got a truck out he's got a few different trucks out he's got this truck I just downloaded this one and he has this Mac out which I'm gonna download right quick open the link in a new tab so that way it'll take me to here now let me show you this really quick so he has a couple options here there were two suggestions I liked yesterday okay he's just saying these are suggestions and here's where you can get this thing right here which is what I'm gonna get all right I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna open link in a new tab and I'm just gonna shoot me over here now technically in order to get all of this you would have to uh you know hit this button right here hit download and you could do a direct and it should pop up right here okay this is how you do stuff from dropbox i'm going to show you how to put that in your game see i've already done it it's showing one here but we're just going to do this uh really quick What is that? EXP EXP19 Mac. That's going to be. Is that the 2032? Yes. Now, see where it says right here FS17. This, it, this was a original mod that was for FS17, but they transferred it to. Uh, work in FS 19 so that that will work in FS 19 and what I'm looking for right now is this for some reason I don't see it it says I already have it by this little parentheses one uh, but I don't see it so you know what let's make sure we don't have to unzip it okay we don't now, if you have to unzip a file, if you open it up and it looks like this, you shouldn't have to unzip it, okay? 
but if you open it up and it's got a bunch of these icons in there or however your um, software will make it look then you know you have to unzip all of that because this goes directly in okay do you understand what I'm saying here if you open it up and you got a bunch of files and folders then you don't have to unzip it you're not gonna take this and you're not gonna do like we do in LSPDFR okay you're not gonna do none of that this is real easy you just take the whole thing and you just stick it right in there okay that's all you have to do and now this Mac Superliner day cab should be installed and if we go back over here we can see that we can get these other things as well if we wanted to get uh, this trailer we could certainly do so you know and download it but I don't need that trailer because I've already got the trailer in my game you may not have it but this is how you do it okay and then we go back over here and we got more mods we could get we get this old pickup truck we get this semi we get six by six and all these other ones okay and that's how you do that so we're gonna go ahead and jump out of here and also if you're familiar with the squad let me look him up really quick how he does FS19 videos matter of fact cool guys. he is using Expendables um, mods okay right here it is you can go get the link off of his videos uh, and he has a bunch of different ones here that you can use and you can see watch his videos and see what all kind of mods he uses but that's going to do it for this little tutorial uh, it's very simple to do uh, if you guys want to you know check it out if you have a gaming PC um, you know this will work perfectly if you have consoles it's not going to work that means if you got an Xbox you got a PS3 you got a PS4 none of this is going to work on that you have to have a gaming PC for these to work now if console has put it out on their little mod hub that they have uh, built into the game and it's in there let's just say you know you get a mod say it's this map right here and they have that on console then yes you can download it right there on your console but if this is not available in the mod hub inside your console this will not work okay you can't take it off the internet put it on a thumb drive and then plug it in and use it that way it will not support it okay well that's going to do it for this video guys i appreciate you watching and i hope this was helpful if you have any questions comments leave them down below be sure to like and subscribe if you want to we're going to have a lot of videos coming out i got a new series coming out with farm sim uh we also are doing some more uh LSPDFR videos. We're going to be doing some uh, yard cleanup videos coming up and some other stuff that we get into on this channel. So if you guys uh, want to watch some of that, you know, come on to my channel. Let's check it out and uh, we'll be glad to have you. All right, well, I appreciate you watching and uh, it's going to do it for this and uh, we'll see you on the next video.